Oh, hi. I'm tired. I just got done cleaning out mom's refrigerator, uh, the one inside the house. It was just packed full. I, I'd never seen one packed so full. Uh, five full kitchen trash bags of expired and freezer burned food. <laughs> and mom, of course, saying, make sure you don't throw away anything. That, make sure you don't throw away that good, that good food. It's like, if it's from 2018 or earlier, or if I can't recognize it. So, yeah, I managed to get that done. I had to um, unplug it from the wall, move it out, get behind it, sweep it. I had to turn it in the kitchen so that I could open the doors enough to get the shelves out to thoroughly wash the shelves. <sighs> there was sneaky stuff on there that was, I don't know, some syrupy thing that leaked. It's not the first time that anybody's had that happen. Uh, however, it is now done. The food that remains is in reasonably good shape. Uh, I have it organized in some semblance of, yes, this makes sense. And uh, we can go from there. There's a lot of stuff in there that she can't eat anymore. She hasn't been able to eat for, you know, a couple of years. And... Yeah, but that is done. Uh, I did have to reorganize a bit of the kitchen because as soon as I moved the refrigerator, things that were using it for support collapsed and fell behind it. So I had to move all of those and reroute them. I still have to figure out a new methodology for some of those things. I mean, you know, it's like uh, three boxes of aluminum foil that have all been used. Um, that kind of stuff. Freezer bags, sandwich bags, wax paper, parchment paper, plastic wrap. You know, it's like, can we just use one? Can we just keep one and use it? And then we'll go to the next one. But there's no place to store them. Because all of the storage places are full of other stuff. Mostly food. This is going to be a very long winter. Uh, we also had a little tiff about phone books today. Uh, she wanted me to grab her a phone book. And there were three, well, she wanted, she wanted the large phone book. So there were three large phone books from, was it 2016, 2017, and 2020. So I brought her the 2020 one. And I brought the 16 and 17 when I said, I'm going to get rid of these. And she was like, no, no, don't get rid of them. They have important information in them. I was like, what information is in these books that's not in the 2021? I said, I'll show you. And so she started looking and uh, I cooked lunch. And then she showed me in the 2017 book that there was a section that had uh, area codes in it from all the different places in Minnesota. You know, decent. Uh, it's the area code table. And she said, see, this is in this book, but it's not in this one. And I opened up the 2020 book to the area code section and said, you mean this? And she just stared at it for a while. And she said, okay. I, I know I shouldn't laugh, but it was kind of funny. I won one. Uh, Mom is getting feisty again. I think she is getting better. Ah, so, you know, this whole thing with the hospice and wearing out and deteriorating. Uh, not going that way right now. She's becoming more active. Well, I suppose, you know, coming out of the hospital, that's probably pretty decent. Uh, I am still cooking. Uh, I'm getting better at getting her things that she likes. 
and uh, you know, basically cooking to order what she wants. It's usually fairly simple. And I have a wide variety of things that I can do to, you know, jazz it up a little bit, but not too much. Her taste buds are very different now. Um, Bemidji, as it turns out, is having a um, relocate to 218 drive going on, where if you relocate to Bemidji and uh, work remotely and qualify, uh, you can get some of your expenses paid. So I'm applying for it because I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, my guess is probably over the winter, if not longer. Um, when she goes, I have to deal with the estate and cleaning everything out and getting it out and sold and getting the house repaired and fixed up to sell and or to keep. You know, I have two sisters and we need to look at what's the best situation for all of us. The big plan right now is to sell and then, you know, we split it according to the will, which is perfectly applicable, uh, perfectly equitable. Sorry. Um, but the possibility of keeping it and, you know, renting out the apartment or renting it out. I don't know. There are a number of options that are feasible. Uh, and who knows? Maybe it makes more sense for me to, you know, move up here permanently and sell the house in the cities. I don't think so. But no thought has crossed my mind, especially with all of the, uh, the shootings going on in the cities lately. It's starting to get a little annoying. I mean, I've been looking at moving for a while and I don't know. This is all very, very up in the air right now. Um, I have a bunch of things I have to do. We're getting her uh, hospital bed. I have to get the bedroom disarranged, you know, take out some of the things that are in the way and, um, and like some of them are clothes that she wants to go through and find ones that still fit her versus ones that are too big, uh, which I applaud. There's a dresser that I want to move downstairs so that I have an actual dresser in the room. Uh, and that, of course, has clothes in it that she wants to go through. So that's something that will probably happen tomorrow. Hope to God it won't take as long as the refrigerator today. That was epic. Epic. Oh, I hurt. I hurt. Well, the refrigerator is fine. It's clean. Food in there is good. We can go from there. Uh, let's see. I have a barbecue grill that I still haven't used. I want to do it tomorrow. It's supposed to be really nice here tomorrow. So it would probably be really good to have a, have a, have a steak out. Um, got a task board put up. It's like a, a black, you know how you have a white board? Well, this is a black board. So I need to get some uh, uh, like neon dry erase markers. There's an office depot here, so I'm sure they have something. Um, I, I, that's about it for today. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I did was clean refrigerator. So, I eh, guess there's not much to uh, not much to add. So, hey guys, see you next time.